Hey guys, today I am going to film today's organized Christmas video. First and foremost, I want to apologize for the background of my video. If you can tell, my kids have destroyed the playroom. And I came down here and I was thinking, you know what, I'm not going to post this video here. But then I'm like, you know what, this is real. My house isn't always clean. It's Sunday night, I'm filming this, so I'm a day late to get this up. And my playroom is destroyed. And whenever I'm done with this, I'm going to have to clean up. But I'm like, you know what, this is perfect, like ammo to show that life isn't perfect and like then things are going to happen and things are going to get in the way and you're going to have to like have a backup plan for the holidays and thanksgiving and all that stuff to make sure that everything gets done you know today and yesterday i just really felt really blah like i'm not sick or anything but i just kind of felt like down and didn't want to film and didn't want to edit and i have probably like 10 videos that i could be editing and normally i'm at like a week advantage and I'm not at that right now and there are some videos I filmed earlier in the week that were just pure crap and I tried editing them and I was like nope can't do it <laughs> um so you know this is just kind of one of those like this is real this is life this is how things really go on type of video so last week was really focusing on like your guests and your bathrooms and all that stuff and I just wanted to say that I went through all of my sinks including my kitchen actually and we are all set on any like health and beauty items. We have plenty of band-aids, um, all that type of stuff. I have plenty of kids medicine. I could probably stand to get a little bit of an adult medicine, but Jeff and I are really finicky with meds and I think that having a lot of stuff on hand just wouldn't work well. I do still need to go to like the Target like travel section and just get a few things to put in the downstairs bathroom. But other than that, we're great. I also grabbed some bathroom towels for the downstairs bathroom. I was gonna grab a rug and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna grab these blue themed ones because I know that I have that type of decor and I don't have to buy a rug. I can keep the rug I have down there and I'm saving myself like 25 bucks. So went ahead and got this that this week. Didn't really see any kitchen towels that I really, really liked. I saw one at Ross and I grabbed it. I'm like, I'm just grabbing this because of the price. Like, I want to wait and see something that I really, really like. So I got all that stuff done. Um, and then the only other things we have to get are some towels for guests. I would like to have all of our guests having a new towel. I look through our towels too and I'm like, you know what? That'll be perfect because once all the guests are gone, I can throw out some of the towels that we have that are just starting to fray and come apart and um, we'll have four new towels. So really happy with that progress. Um, I've also been doing a lot of Christmas shopping and um, my mom I think now is done. Um, I asked her for a list, I'm gonna see what her list says, but you know, I had bought her plane tickets for September, I bought half of her plane ticket for Thanksgiving. Um, when she's here, we're planning on going like bowling, we're planning on going to the aquarium um we're gonna go pick out a christmas tree there's just a lot that we're doing and i have gotten her a lot of stuff and i just also have to think of the fact if i have to make sure all this stuff can fit in her suitcase um because my hope is to send her home with these items so um got my mom all set i'm pretty sure for christmas um all of the teachers are all set for the kids now uh the bus driver is all set as well the only gift that we need to buy in our family is for my cousin our um my cousin's son and um, I'm just gonna wait until uh, his mom, you know, gives me some ideas on what to send him. And in all honesty, if I don't get it before uh, my mom's visit, I'll just send it via Amazon and just, I'm sure she'll wrap it for me or maybe I can pay like extra and have it wrapped through them or whatever. But I've done a lot of Christmas shopping and then I do wanna go through our um, toy area because we sat down this week and we talked to the kids about Christmas and how it's gonna go and how we really, really wanna try to you know, pare things down again, especially when I come down here and I see a playroom looking like this, it just adds fuel to my fire that I don't want any more toys because they obviously just take everything out and throw it. So, um, we told them that you're gonna be able to get, you know, three to five things from Santa. Um, obviously if they put something like a laptop, like what Aubrey wants for Christmas, she's mainly gonna get a laptop and then maybe like one small toy and then like an accessory maybe for her laptop. Um, and Aubrey and Trevor are well, you know, they know that like Trevor wants an Xbox one So he knows that if he gets an Xbox one He's probably gonna want like the Xbox live to go with it because he always tends to get that for Christmas and You know, maybe like a controller or something like that So they get to pick three to five things that they want to ask for from Santa and then from mom and dad We're gonna do something that they want. So another like toy or you know big item from mom and dad Be something they want 
something they need. Again, it could be kind of a toy. It could be something like that. You know, it could be something for um, school. It could be something for sports. It could be something for their room, um, stuff like that. Uh, so that's want, need, something to wear. So something, you know, a new outfit, some new pajamas, something like that. Something to read, a new book. Um, and then we said something to play, which would be like either a board game or a video game and something to craft. Because again, we're trying to get away from all the toys and do things like that. And um, basically, I think it's a way for us to have a more well thought out, well planned Christmas. Um, and then finally, uh, we said that, you know, your siblings, you guys are all, instead of picking a name, you're, you're all now going to, um, buy a gift for each one of your siblings. And I said, you know, I like to bargain shop. We all know that. And I have some toys downstairs. You guys can choose to pick one of those toys. Um, if you don't want to, you don't have to, and then you'll just pay me. And then, um, whatever is left over of all those toys, we're going to keep a few of them for like birthday presents, whatever I can keep aside for you know gifts throughout the year i'll keep aside if there's something that i think would be good for their following birthday again i'll keep it aside but then the rest of that stuff is going to be donated we're going to go to a church we're going to go to a um you know boys and girls home we're going to go something like that and we're going to donate the toys so that other children can have a christmas and you know have a christmas a pinky amount of you know the size compared to their christmas but um still you know, teach them on giving and stuff like that. We are going to do the um, shoebox thing this year. Uh, we've done that for the past few years and I really do like doing that. For the past few years, we've been able to get a lot of our stuff for our stockpile, but I think this year I'm gonna take them to like Walmart or Dollar Tree or something like that. And I'm gonna have the boys do a boy one and the girls do a girl one. Um, here it's a like you see the boxes in stores. It's a lot more profound here, like a lot of I mean, I live in the Bible Belt, so it makes more sense um, where it is like a faith-based thing. And in uh, New England, on, in all honesty, it's rare that you hear people say that they even go to church. Um, so at least in my area, it was that way. So I'm um, really excited to do that again, you know, really trying to teach the kids about giving and giving back and all that stuff. Um, so then this week, you want to focus on your family space. So basically, you want to really just deep clean your living room, um, your family room, all that type of stuff. Thankfully, I have a very, very, very empty living room, and it's not going to take much besides my daily cleaning uh, to get it clean. I would like to clean my ceiling fan because it's disgusting. It's got a ton of uh, dust on it. Um, they also say this is a time to go through your media and entertainment. Maybe go through your DVDs and your CDs for the holidays and see if there's any that you want to grab. Uh, Black Friday is a great time to get you know, new Christmas movies on sale or whatever. Um, so we're definitely going to be doing that. And like my mom said, she's like, how do you have, you know, I would assume that you had enough DVDs. Well, our DVDs get scratched. You know, we have kids. So I always like to have a few DVDs in the car, a few DVDs in the house and, you know, go from there. Um, it mentions decorating for Halloween, you know, make sure costumes are all set, put them on, make sure everything fits. Um, it mentions the Halloween tradition of the boo tradition but we're not going to do that start amarillo's goals if you do that mail your overseas gift packages create a housework plan um you know work on chore checklists and start working on cards i also wanted to mention um and I, this isn't really all that like i haven't really talked about it but i have a facebook page for my channel and um, as the holidays have been coming, I've been posting a lot more like deals that I see. So like Shutterfly deals, just really good deals in general, um, you know, for Target or for just anything that I see that's Christmas related. So the link to that is um, facebook.com slash YT Amanda W. Um, so if you're not on that, you may want to get on that. Um, I've been trying to post it more. I also post, you know, all of our videos throughout the week and everything like that. Um, but it's definitely something to, uh, you know, look at or whatever. And then what else did I want to talk about? Um, the Hallmark Christmas movies start on the 29th. So that's like a week and a half, two weeks away, something like that now. Uh, so that's really exciting. Um, I'd also suggest to go and just see if you can do a quick Google search. I'm gonna try to do the same thing this week and see if you can find um, 
a like a printout or something of all the Christmas movies. So I know in previous years it was ABC Family. Well now it's like Freeform or Up or whatever it is. And so I want, I'm hoping that they're going to do the same thing this year. I don't know if they're going to because ABC Family used to do some sort of Halloween thing and they're not really doing that. So um, it may be a good time to try to check and see if you can find that type of stuff now because, um, you know, I, I like to write down on our calendar like family favorites of movies that we like, like the Santa Claus movies and stuff like that. So definitely may want to look into that. So I also wanted to mention that um, I was sent the retro housewife goes green i was sent her christmas ebook and i will say that it's a very similar lines of organized christmas rudolph club all that type of stuff however it's in one very small ebook i mean literally i read it and given i was like totally tuned into it i read it over an hour and a half soccer practice like off and on watching ellie and um watching trevor play soccer and stuff like that very easy very simple read um but she has some really great ideas and some really great tips and I think that it would be a really good book that you could read like the beginning of every season to just kind of like okay let's refresh and figure out what we need and she definitely offered some good tips and tricks in there that I was like that's really smart like why didn't I think of that um so Lisa the author is offering a giveaway to my subscribers so um I'm going to click uh, or I'm going to put a link to the ebook down below. So the ebook is downloadable, which is really cool. You can just either read it from your computer or your device or your, um, you can print it out and just, you know, read it on paper. I printed it out. I like having a paper copy of things and I just put it in my organized Christmas notebook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to the book down below if you would like to purchase it for yourself. I am also going to ask everyone to give me their top three things that they're looking forward to most this Christmas. And in doing that, you'll be entered to win a giveaway for one of the copies. Lisa offered to give away one of my subscribers a copy, and I'm also going to offer to pay for a subscriber to have a copy. So there's going to be two of you that get to win a copy of this ebook. I think it's a really great book. I think it's, you know, I mean, it's obviously along the lines of Organized Christmas, but I really like the fact that it was all in one spot and it's just, it's, it's a really easy read. And it was just one of those things to kind of get me in the spirit and put in my organized Christmas book and just be ready for the holidays. Um, she has a blog, uh, the retro housewife goes green.com. I'll definitely uh, link that down below as well. She has been a long time subscriber of mine and I really, really like it. So the book itself is going to be $5 uh, on her site. But again, she's giving away one, I'm giving away one. And I think that if you purchase the book, definitely let me know. Maybe in a few weeks, we can all kind of get together and talk about it, talk about our thoughts on it, if that's something that you guys are interested in. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this week. I wanna apologize if this video is late. I'm just not really feeling it this week, but I did wanna get it out for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.